Today on the 5-Minute Book Review starring Curtis and Ian, we jingle our bells against a Charlie Brown Christmas, the making of tradition. Yes, this is a behind-the-scenes look at how that enjoyable holiday classic was put together. This book takes you behind the scenes and talks to the people who were there on the front lines creating this epic animated Christmas classic. You know, the one where everyone bullies the bald kid for hating on Christmas. Good grief. Coin toss to start, and Curtis is the winner. You are watching the 5-Minute Book Review starring Curtis and Ian. It is Christmas time here on the 5-Minute Book Review, so we're keeping the streak going. We're going to review another Christmas book, and that being A Charlie Brown Christmas. And here's where it gets awesome. The Making of a Tradition. That's a little, uh, you know, self-inflated, but whatever. I'll give it to them. This is a tradition. The Charlie Brown Christmas special, of course, has been going on for I don't even know how many years, way before I was on this earth. It is a staple of your holiday. Every Christmas, everybody out there guaranteed watches this. Well, this is this in book form. When this came out about 10 years ago, I grabbed it up. I paid the like $50 and I sat down with it. And it's sadly basically just the animated special in book form. I mean, they take you behind the scenes and they talk to the artists and you know the creators and the people who are there. But afterwards, you're not really left with any mind-blowing facts or trivia. It's, it's kind of what you'd expect making a cartoon back in the in the day. Like there's there's really nothing in this book that blew my mind. But if you like the uh, special, it's a must-have. Ian. Yeah, if you really, really enjoy that Christmas special and you just want a book that's literally the Christmas special in book form, like it is just the Christmas special in book form, then this is for you. It's got the sheet music. It's got ostensibly the script, the music, like it's got everything in it, lots of nice pictures of the cartoon. Um, calling it a tradition, I, I don't know about that. I mean, you know, to me, I read it, edit, it, it's it's interesting, it's amusing, it's enjoyable, but at the same time, it's, uh, I don't know. I get, I enjoy watching the Christmas special each year. I truly do. But to sit there and watch the read the reading book for my I don't I don't get the appeal like you have to be a pretty hardcore Charles Schultz, Schultz fan to want to sit there and read this yeah I kind of was I don't want to say I was disappointed because I enjoy having this on my shelf and, and in the bottom corner I don't know if you can see it or not but in that bottom corner there there's like a flip book of the opening sequence where they're on the ice I don't know if that's fifty dollars cool but it's pretty cool uh yeah you really hit the uh, nail on the head if you are a giant fan of this you need to have this book if you're not that big of a fan of it, save your money and watch the special because again, you're not learning anything in this. And, and there actually is, like you said, just some screenshots that take up entire pages. It's like, hey, there's Lucy and there's the tree that falls over. And like, like really? That's all you're putting in this book, guys? Nah, eh, whatever. If it's your thing, it's your thing, Ian. That is what it is. I mean, it, it's, it's a nice keepsake if you're a massive fan. It's not more than that. You're not gonna receive any insight into the man into Schultz, into his career, into Peanuts, into the history of the special, really. It's just a, it's honestly as bare bones as you can get. Like, if, it's, if this was a DVD, this would be the most basic extras of all time on the DVD for the Christmas special. Um, it's the best way to describe it. It, it. It's a very base sort of thing. But at the same time, again, if you like the special, it's something you probably should take a look at. All right, Ian, I'm a fan of the special, but mm. I've actually found myself asking myself why the last few years uh, I had a friend of mine kind of point out the other yeah, a couple years ago she's like yeah everybody likes it but do you really like it do you really like it or do you watch it just because it is tradition and I defended it right away and then yeah. that Christmas when I watched it I was like yeah it's it's weird I mean I, I enjoy watching it I, I enjoy the message but man it's depressing and I don't know how it keeps transcending because I mean what do kids today see in it that don't have that tradition of watching when they were, peanuts were two. anymore really uh, know, I showed like... it to my four-year-old son and he got a huge kick out of it really? and I was like really really what's in here the animation's huh? basic there's a terrible Christmas message till the very end everybody's mean to everybody I don't I don't really see the appeal of this other than I've been watching it every year my entire well, life like that is the appeal things, but it just kind of speaks to kids. Maybe we've just gotten too old, Curtis. I guess. Maybe that's the uh, holiday miracle we need. Maybe I need to read this book again and really the discover what Christmas is out about. And that tree behind you is leaning. Really kind of like the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. I'm going to get crushed by it before the end of this Probably. review. Probably. All right, Ian. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas, the making of a tradition. By the way, I think it's out of print. So even if you wanted to nah. read it, you're hitting eBay. Uh, you hey, if you're it, a fan. Go look for it. Seriously. If you're not a fan. If you like it, go find it. Spend 22 minutes yeah. watching the special and save two hours reading this book. Did you in the first round cut me off in a minute or 30 seconds? I think you cut him off at 30 you seconds. You cut me off at 30 seconds. <laughs>